In this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow the users to select where the data file is coming from, and then they can secondly result where the results of their manipulation is or what is going to end up in. Now, in this program, what I'm doing is I'm just sorting a bunch of data and I'm I'm sorting by the salesperson Dave. It could be any one of the list of people that are better in that list, but I've selected Dave. Now the data file, I'm going to click on the data file button and it's going to bring up, now I have, um, this is my desktop, I have an invoices folder on my desktop and I'm selecting sales figures. And so now the path to this uh, file is located in this cell here now. Now I've picked out which file I would like to manipulate. Now I'm going to select the results. So once again, you click on the button and you are given, um, you're given the option. And I'm going to click on invoices. And I think that would be just fine. I'll save it in the same place as I'm getting it. And I'll say, okay. And once again, here you have the path that is defined for your invoices. So um, let's show you how this works. So let me bring up the code. So I uh, copied this uh, functions from um, one of the, the, the uh, net, uh, network applications on Excel. So this isn't my uh, functions. So I've copied these. Now the C folder is, is where we want to save the stuff. And so I, this is a uh, uh, FL locate, so file locate, and then it's get folder. So I'm calling this function here. And basically what it's doing is just copying the location of the folder. Now the second one is um, sub data, so that I'm looking for where the data is coming from, and we file path, file sales select box, and the sheet range D4 is where the value is going to go, and so this is where the function file path is going to do it, and it's the same thing. I've copied this one as well. So now let me show you how I use these in um, applications. So I'm going to go to module two. And it's sort by salespeople. And so what it's going to do is it's going to sort all the data that they there's in that file called uh, that, that we've selected. And then what we're going to do, it's going to copy it onto a worksheet and then it's going to save it um, as a new file. OK, so let me run it first and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the run button. So it basically has copied all the sales items for Dave onto this other sheet. And now what it's going to do is it's going to save it as a new file in the folder. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder. I'm going to go to invoices. And there we have the 25th of June. And Dave is the salesperson. And if we double click on this file, then it's a copy of what we just saw. Here we go. Um, it's a copy of what we just saved onto our, our other sheet. And so let me show you what I what how the code looks. So here's the code for the sort by sales. And um, so we have D file, which is the data file, and then we have salesperson, and then um, I tell I define where they are on the sheet. Um, and S report equals sheet two. This is the report that we're making. So well, first of all, I'm clearing contents just so I don't have anybody else's in there. End row um, equals sheet two, row count, uh, end up, and plus one so we don't overwrite. Okay, source is a workbooks op open file, which is a D file that we've specified on our sheet. Um, start at row two, source worksheet activates, last row active cells, row count, and uh, end up and row. Okay, so from for row two to last row, if the source worksheet sheet for range J and row value equals salesperson, then you're going to copy it, uh, copy from uh, A to K, and then you're going to activate this workbook, and then you're going to go to the end row, and you're going to go from in the first column, and then you're going to paste special, and then you're going to keep doing this until the end. Now, after we've copied all of it, then you're going to close the source worksheet. 
or the close the source workbook. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy sheet two that we put all our data on. I'm going to turn off the active display alerts. Um, now it's going to go active workbook display path and format. And so I'm putting the date on, I'm putting the salesperson on, and I'm putting the extension of XLSX. Um, active workbook close, application display alerts equals true, application uh, cut copy mode is false, and I've done that so you don't have the marching ants around your page. And the S file is a path plus the file name. So that's how you allow the users to select the data that they're going to manipulate and also let the users select where their destination file is going to end. I will, of course, include as much code as I can on the description of my video. Please subscribe.